On corridor models and on alignment projects, it's very often a requirement to label up the drawing with what we call X-line location. So that's putting lines across the alignment with an offset left and right with labels to tell you what those lines represent. And those lines could be created at things like intervals along the road, the hallam val points, information where in the tables of the corridor the road widens or the super elevations change. Or maybe you just want to label up things like typical cross-section locations or slope change locations so that you can use the X lines in combination with line work to generate um, vertical designs, for example. So we've written the create X lines command. The create X lines command is available in the modeling toolbox. It's in the create X lines um, uh, command in this section under corridors. And to run the create X lines command, you just run the command. You pick the corridor that you want to work with. You specify the range along the corridor that you want to work with, so in this case from start to end. And then you define you know, your offsets left and right. So I'm going to go 25 meters to the left, 25 meters to the right. This is a metric project. We're going to put the X lines on this layer. That controls the color layer, line style, line weight type information. And then we're going to draw station labels and we're going to put them on this layer. And that controls, again, layer color, line style, um, and that kind of thing. And then we have the text style that we want to use. And the text style drives whether the text is drawn on the left side or the right side. So if it's left justified, it will be drawn on the right. If it's right justified, it will be drawn on the left. And if it's center justified, it will be drawn down the center line itself. So you can define some text styles to define uh, those methodologies. So X line left means it's going to label it on the left, which means it's right justified in this case. So in this case, then we can define where we want to label uh, we put these X lines. In this case, I'm picking all the typical locations out of the corridor. So intervals every 20 meters, Hallam vowel points, template locations, table locations, and then the extra locations you created using the define extra stations command. And then in addition to that, we want to create some additional ones at specific locations. So for example, I could type in zero and tab, and then just click in here, and I can say I want that one to be called, you know, POB, for example. Or you can go into here and you can create ones for typical cross sections or slope changes or crossing locations and that kind of thing. And each one, the label will be what's written alongside the station at the end of the X line. And then you can split the label. So it's going to use the name of the label as well as the station. And if you use the split, then it will put them either side of the uh, X line itself. And then you can also go into Excel. In this case, I've got an Excel spreadsheet open here with a few critical locations that I want to label. I'm just going to bring that across here in just a second. I can get my Excel to move. Let's just grab this here. You can see there's my list of typical cross sections and crossings and things. I'm just going to highlight that, copy those here. Let's just move that back out the way again now. And then I'm going to come down here, highlight this row, and then just paste that in here. And that adds them in here as extra stations. Now I've got everything set up as I want it. Then I hit the apply button. And now it's labeled up my drawing. So I've got 25 meter lines left and right. My text is all left justified. So it's all on the left side here. And you can see it labels up the drawing nicely uh, with everything uh, as you want it. And the names appear in each of these. So it's no longer just station labels, which are these ones up here. These ones actually have names where we've actually added it. And if you were doing vertical design and you had linear feature lines provided by the engineer in 2D, then you could use from the center line to this point at this slope change, and you could use the intersection snaps to grab the intersection points where the X lines meet the linear features for the definition of your cross slopes and cross disease and stuff like that in the vertical design process. So this has got many uses. One is for producing drawings and annotating drawings, but the other one is practical uses for calculation points that you could use here now to calculate points on structures, points on walls, uh, vertical design locations, or just reference information where your typical cross sections change on the drawing. And all of that's really handy, helpful information when you're building models for corridors to be able to label and annotate the drawing quickly. So again, a great new tool, um, it's on the blocks, it should be out within the next few days. Um, but just wanted to give you a heads up that it's coming and uh, another great job from the TML team. So thanks a lot guys, we'll be in touch.